one of the best players in the United States. I mean, potentially the world at this point. Um, especially with King, one of those characters we don't get to see as much. Um, pretty well represented throughout the world, but like when it comes to having a stateside king, it's now Lil Majin's the guy to look at. Yeah, uh, for sure. Let's see what happens. Is this a mirror match? Let's talk about this. Because the guy said King means. That'd be crazy if they were. I think it is. I'm pretty sure it is. No, Brian. Okay, well, I was wrong. Okay. Well, either way, man. I mean, he's definitely made people put respect on his name. You know, uh, I was talking to a lot of people, and they, they weren't putting him in that top three uh, in America. There's a lot of Koreans, I think. Mm, not quite. But I think after that EVO performance, their opinions definitely changed. Oh, yeah. Uh, but let's see now. I got Brandon versus Lil Margin. Winners round two. Let's go. All right, Devil's Pit. Oh, big mid already hatchet kick. Yeah. Starting off quite aggressive. And I can tell you right now, Brandon knows what he's doing. He gets mm -hmm. jabbed out of the air. 4-4-1. Four, four, now, now, you use King quite a lot yourself. I mean, what is it about uh, Lil Margin that you see that he does that other people don't? I mean, I see a lot of that 4-4-1 four, four, pursuit push. So, I think it's more the fact that he knows how to play to a range where Sobot is always effective, mm -hmm. and he still doesn't use it. He just stays at that range where he can whiff punish with back one. Yeah. He can still get in when he needs to. Um, 4 2 one is a good tool as well. Just being able to control that mid-range moves very good placement while standing four. Just the neutral that he controls and the options that he chooses, like down 4-2 right there, and then instant Jaguar step back. He oh, plays gosh, at that yeah. range at yeah. such a, a long time. And I think it makes people uncomfortable. I think that's what makes him really good. Yeah, I mean, it's always looking out for something. Like you said, it's facing. Last round was exactly what you said, right? Oh. But here we got Brandon answering back, though. Can he get the walls? Big damage. Nice combo. Oh, that took off a chunk. I know, but he's got that wall pressure now. Oh. Oh, man. Beat down City. Tell us. Down 4-1. Oh. Ooh, to, oh. Nice. Ooh, he's went for the low. Hatchet. So Brandon answering back. I like it. Like you said, there's no guy knows how to play. He definitely knows how to play. It would be insane if Lil Margin was put into the loose early. Don't talk. Look, don't talk like that, all right? Bro, okay, come on, man. It's madness. <laughs> this is madness. This is summer jam. <laughs> oh, no, let me stop. Oh, <laughs> armor. The power. Okay, no punish though. Minus 10. On one, two, one. Hatchet. Wow. Orbital. He got lucky. He got so lucky. Giant oh, swing, no instant. break. It's crazy. I like it. That says something. The fact that he didn't break Giant Swing, that was the first one he went for. Mm -hmm. Definitely worked. Ooh. Oh. That was really good. <laughs> okay. Reactions on point right now. Brandon not going down without a fight. Good punish. Oh, low parry. Yep. Gets the 4-3. Go for the big boy combos. He's got him. Oosh. Okitan. Oh, goes for the down three they trade. Back one. That's not going to be it, but it's going to be pretty close. Yeah. This, oh, boy. That is going to be it. Bro. And it was pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice setup there from Lil Margin. This guy's got tricks up his sleeve, man, like you said. This dude is sure actually a tech monster. Like, he's one of those guys that comes up with a lot of little niche things for King. Uh, has a lot of... Little Majin tech, I like to call mm -hmm. it. I feel like there's not many King players, especially stateside, that don't use some tech that this man has came up with in some capacity. I mean, you just look at his Twitter where he's just posting tech after tech after tech after tech. Oh, I found this new thing, man. Have a, it's not like he's keeping it for himself either. Mm -hmm. He shares it for everyone to see, but oh, it still yeah. works. You know, it's crazy stuff. I think he's one of the few players that understand, like, sharing tech doesn't mean, uh, doesn't mean that it stops going after that, but he shares it because, you know, some people are afraid to share that tech, especially yeah. considering, like, they want it for themselves. It still works though, right? Exactly. It still works. Uh -oh. Wow, low parry is on point right now. Should be going to the wall here. Bash, bash. Mix up time. Nice guess. Gets the break, goes for the power crush right after. And no, uh, no one for anything right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, didn't quite get the hiccup from there. Forward, forward, two, Mac punch. Punish. There we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh man, that wolf tail. Oh, but that's another drop. I think Brandon's getting nervous now. Yep. Uh oh, Lil Maja getting pushed to the wall right now. Yeah. Oh, needs to be careful. Yeah, great defense here. I like Lil Maja not swinging right there. Gorilla press slam, he's dead. Mm, that does so much damage. Good stuff from uh, Lil Maja. Like you said, not breaking them throws. I think Lil Maja's probably caught on to that. Mm -hmm. 
But that's typically what it is, right? Sometimes you fight players, and they're like, man, this guy's super buttonsy. Yeah. And it's because they don't know how to break throw, so they want their offense to like kind of make up for it. Exactly. And in this game as well, Tekken 7, which is the first Tekken where you can actually counter hit from throws now. Mm -hmm. So yeah, definitely a dangerous option. Ooh, that was, hey, I didn't know what he was going for, but it looked kind of cheap. And that's something we saw so much at EVO, the down forward to counter hit confirm. He's so good at that, and a final round here potentially for Lil Marge to make it to winners. Making quick work of Mr. Brandon. So far. Yep. Uh-uh. Yeah, you gotta punish. Brandon still playing at a really good range himself. Goes for the hatch kick, step. gets the full walk right there. Mo Majin at the ready. He's not forward for one plus two. Keeping him in check. Ooh. The layoff push. Really close to the wall. One more. A few trades. I can tell you right now, Brandon stayed alive only because those trades worked out in his favor. Shake hands. Good games. Next match. Let's keep it rolling. Keep it rolling, man. Good games to Lil Margin. That's definitely one to look out for. This man right here on screen is a guy that is potentially to take it all. And right now, he hasn't actually got many points, if any. Because, um, you know, he hasn't been entering Tekken World Tour events. That Evo wasn't Tekken World Tour. I mean, of course. And uh, just like that, Kwamba, once again, guys, exclamation point Kwamba giveaway. All those awesome products. Uh, one of the sponsors of the Tekken World Tour. Make sure you guys show them some love. Yeah. I have multiple Kwamba products in my life. They so are very, right. very good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. For sure, man. Very sexy. I like the designs. Uh, but yeah, little margin moving on. What's our, our next match? So, Pepper Beef, Too Spicy, an East Coast player. Um, been playing a lot in the Geico Online uh, Gaming uh, weekly. Yep.